when Leonardo DiCaprio tweeted his thanks to CPAWS and to the federal government for having protected the glass sponge reefs on the west coast of Canada, I had a family member who jumped up and said with such excitement, wow, Eric, you do really important work at CPAWS. Sometimes, unfortunately, it takes Leonardo DiCaprio or a tweet from him for people to really appreciate the important work that we've been doing year over year and generation after generation. The truth is that we've been working for a very long time to get to this period of conservation success. Sometimes you'll go through these long periods where you feel like you're in the desert and nothing seems to break open. And in those periods of time, CPOS has been really good at being able to plan and think and prepare so that when that door opens for the opportunity to come along, we're there to seize that opportunity and take advantage of it. And that's one of the beauties of CPOS. In just the first two months of this year, we've seen the Rouge National Urban Park get legislated protection the way it deserved. We're starting to see things like the glass sponge reefs being protected. We see ministers from all across the country at all levels, including Indigenous leaders, come together to figure out how to get to 17% of our land protected by 2020. We're seeing things like reporting on the gaps that, that happen when it comes to the caribou recovery strategy. We're, we're seeing the round table for the minister around parks and how those parks are being used emphasize just how much people care about the nature within our parks. We're seeing two other new marine protected areas move forward in the process of protection. And after a 40 year campaign, we're seeing places like the Castle Wilderness area in the Southern Alberta region finally see the kind of management plan that it deserves too. And that's only in two months. So, 2017 is starting off on a really good foot. There is so much more that we have to do. The opportunity is also just getting wider and wider when it comes to conservation in this country. Of course, we're not an overnight success. It takes years to be prepared to seize an opportunity like this one. What I love about CPAWS is that we're able to find those thoughtful and strategic approaches, that we're able to be efficient with the resources that we're given, and we're able to count on supporters all across this country to make it happen. I'm hoping that whether you supported CPAWS financially in the past or not, that you'll seize this opportunity to consider making a monthly contribution towards our efforts. Monthly contributions are a great way, a stable and predictable way for us to plan the work that we have ahead. And they're also a great way to save time and money. If the rest of this year is going to be anything like the first two months have been, we are gonna need all the support we can get. In the eight years I've worked at CPAWS, I have never seen anything quite as crazy as I have over the last few months. And we need all the help we can get to keep moving the momentum forward. And that means writing letters, signing petitions. It means making sure that you continue volunteering for CPAWS chapters across the country. It means telling your friends about the important work that we're doing today so that we can continue to spread the word with others and make that circle even bigger. And if you can spare it, we'd ask you to continue supporting us financially as well in whatever way you can. Opportunities can slip by us very, very quickly. We don't want to let this one get away. And now I have to get back to work. Thanks for your support.